Hello and welcome back. The following video is part two of the Colchester Cross Slide Ripper. I'm thinking of selling me old Uber while well, it's just collecting dust these days. Oh, ho, 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 that's terrible. Let's get on with the video. It's all set up, ready to go. So here goes nothing. It's a bit rough man's. I may just give it a going over with the uh, a diamond stone. Okay. Well, I wasn't overly impressed with the finish on that. I think this cutter, obviously the original equipment that come with the metal is a bit of a DIY job, isn't it really? So there's a couple of thousand still to be had. So I'm going to try it with a 4 inch fly cutter. Complaining though, but off one of the bearings, I think. Oh, I just, I just crusty. I don't know. That's a miles better job. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I love this. I love this thing. I love this cutter. That's a bit more factory, isn't it? 
Happy days. Alright, let's get this thing bolted back together. Oh. I've reassembled the cross slide, it was just a simple job of rebolting this brass nut on. The original had a lovely rounded shape and I found to my peril when I just tried this one in the lathe because it was flat and slightly higher it actually hit the body of the lathe for some reason I mean I don't know why they didn't make it like the original one anyway so I've just I've just filed a little bit off and it fits a treat all I've got to do now is just locate this to the end and that gives me the room to get it to the back of the lathe because the splash plate's in the way so I can pull it forward onto the body of the lathe which we're going to do now I think that I'll do the right. Let's just zoom around now. Let's zoom around and have a look at it. That's what we we're aiming for. I cleaned that trough out. It was actually full of swarf and scum and all bits of crusty stuff. You don't even, I don't even know where it got in there. How the hell did it get in there? I don't know, but it did. But it's clean now. It's just not been a bad project. All in all. Well, it's cleared the second given or uh, jib. That's fine. Yep. We just need to wind, put the doofer back on. The doofer. Put the doofer back on. Just roughly, just get it in position. Yeah. Let's have a look at play now. No, there's absolutely no. There's no apart from that. There's no play. I'm happy with that. That fits like a stocking on a chicken's bottom like that. So there you go. Happy days. I'll set it up. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut. <sighs> So here we are back at the Colchester and would you know it the half inch allen key turned up so I was able to use the chuck finally. I've chucked up this five inch piece of brass for a project I'm doing you'll have to I know I know you'll have to watch the next project I'm afraid to find out what that's all about so without further ado let's give it a go let's see if all this hard effort was worth it. going to engage the automatic feed. It's a bit stringy, I think that should be more like chips and strings, so a little bit of what needed on the tool steel. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's not too bad. I could call me her in that. <laughs> not bad. Not bad for me. Right, so to find out what that's all about, you'll have to watch the next video or the video after it, I'm not sure. So thanks for viewing. Hope you enjoyed that. <sighs>